Hello and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this video, I will be going over the basic options given to you in the newest 2022 version of Shopput Pro. First, to access these options, you are going to click on Shopput Pro here at the top of the screen and select Preferences. You can also do this using Command Comma. Now here at the top, you can see four different sections. And if you're interested in the other three, videos explaining each of these are available and the link is down below. So when you get to this page, you'll see that it's divided in two sections, queue options and verification. The first of these queue options allows you to select how to handle copying an entire drive. The default option is include folder with drive name. This will output the contents of the drive into a folder with the drive name inside the destination folder. Alternatively, you can select Drive Contents Only, which will only add the contents of the drive to the queue. Under Queue Options, there are four different boxes you can check, and these are all going to help you automate your workflow. The first option, titled Automatically Add Drives to Source Queue, is going to add any drive that is mounted while Shopput Pro is running to the source's queue for the job. If you do not have this box checked, then you'll have to manually add drives as you connect them. The next option, titled Begin Job Upon Entry to the Queue, will kick the job off as soon as items are added to an empty queue for the first time. The third option in this section, Automatically Open Details When Job Begins, will open up the Job Details view in the center pane as soon as the job is constructed and ready to start. The final option is titled, Always Show Preset Preview Window. This will always prompt this view to show up, regardless of if you are missing information or not. Now that we've covered the queue options, let's move on to the verification section. First, you have the option to choose either a full checksum or a file size source checksum comparison. A full checksum means both the source and destination files will have checksums generated and all destinations will be verified against the source's checksums. This is the recommended option. While a file size source checksum is faster, since checksums are only generated for the source, you lose the verification security that a full checksum verification provides. The only verification that this will do is a file size comparison between the source and destination. If file integrity is a requirement, this method is not recommended. You do have the option to select as many different checksum formats as you would like, but keep in mind that the offload will only be as fast as the slowest format that you have selected. Each of these verification types has its own pros and cons, and if you would like more information on choosing the right type for your work, check out our video using the link below that goes over each one in more detail. Finally, there are two last options available, Calculate Source Directory Checksums and Source Integrity Verification. The first option is a verification strategy used to ensure that a directory's content has not changed. This strategy is employed by the ASC MHL standard and involves computing checksums based on all child file and directory checksums. This detects if a folder's contents match another folder exactly or not. The second option, Source Integrity Verification, performs an additional read and checksum calculation on the source after the copy job is complete. This ensures that there were no changes to the source while copying and provides additional protection against overheating drives. It comes at the cost of rereading the source, meaning it takes extra time to calculate the checksums again. So there you have it, a complete overview of the basic options in Shopput Pro's Preferences panel. Hopefully that helps you understand each of the options available to you, and if you want to learn more about the newest version of Shopbook Pro, check out our other tutorial videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.